I'm at the Chinese theater for the premiere of Astro Boy, the new animated feature by Summit Entertainment. Summit Entertainment, of course, being the studio that has the guts these days in this economy to stand up to Disney and DreamWorks and come up with their own animated franchise. Let's look at my premiere coverage. The character of Astro Boy was created in 1952 and the mythology claims that when a scientist's young son dies, he creates a robot in his image to replace him. Unexpectedly, the robot uses its incredible powers to become become a world-famous superhero. Good morning, son. Dad? How do you feel? Uh, kind of weird. Freddie Highmore is happy to finally share the new Astro Boy with his fans no, after so I'm much secrecy. For all the people who, who already, uh, well, know, know what Astro Boy is about, I hope that the, uh, the film, you know, does the, does the original manga justice. And, and for all those that, that haven't, um, it's like we've been on in this, you know, we've all been in on this huge big secret and now we get to uh, share it to everyone now. Kristen Bell admits doing voiceover is not as easy as it seems. It's harder and easier at the same time. They videotape you actually sometimes when you're in the booth so that you'll, they, the animators can see your facial features and see what you're doing to have something better to go off of. But you have to be just as present. You'd think it was easier, but it's actually not. You, you can really tell if you're faking it. Sporting a new suit, Eugene Levy had this to say about well, doing animation. Because I bought the suit, now I, I, I had an excuse to wear it tonight, so that's it's just fabulous. You know, now, yes, I know. Isn't that the odd thing about animated films? You not only nobody gets to see your work, you don't get to see your other cast members' work. And Nicolas Cage and Freddie Highmore have been busily lending their voices to a lot of animated features recently. We just heard Nicolas Cage in G-Force and Freddie Highmore in the Arthur franchise. And now let's look at the people who are still making millions in this economy. The three Angelino realtors who are the star of Bravo's Million Dollar Listing. Let's look at the preview. This season on Million Dollar Listing. It doesn't get much sexier than this. Look at the size of the shower. <laughs> just let me have her, you can have the house for free. I don't have the time to deal with childish games. Why are you running away? Yeah. You were starting something no, there. This, don't cheapen this guy. Yeah. So who's the douchebag over there with the blonde? He's just some real estate agent. This new market is going to separate the pros from the amateurs, and the amateurs are going to get the hell out. Business is business, regardless of the ego here. Let's sell the property. What the f is that? I didn't make this stuff up. We'll call it a day. How about that? This is a terrible market, and realtors are doing anything to survive. I'm committed. I'm out here. It's a heck of a first step. From one agent to another, this is a low offer. Let's cut to the chase. Under $4 million. F you, Madison. The property is worth $8 million. I will not take the offer, and I think you're insulting me at this point. No, 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 no. This is really special. It's not about the money. It's about becoming a brand. Let's drink to Chad. <laughs> you can mix business with pleasure. I don't just sell houses. I sell a lifestyle. I'm not going to stand here and put up of with this. Of course you're not, because you're going to run you away like you always this do. Day. And like every good reality show, Million Dollar Listing has made its three realtors into real celebrities as we welcome them every night on the red carpet. And that's a wrap for entertainment for this week. Always a pleasure connecting you to Hollywood. From the Astro Boy premiere at the Chinese Theater, I'm Ron Jacobson.